Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Let's do my cappies. Let's do my cappies. Um, let's do match. The rest of match 2019. I hope my caps are doing good. I was just about to say, I hope you had a, pa a great Patty's Day as if <laughs> as if all my cappies are uh, freaking leprechauns. Oh, Mingya. Yeah. I love you guys. <clears throat> I just love you guys. So, Cappy, you all love. Maybe that means you're going to be lucky. All right? So, you're stressed out right now. You're stressed out. You're not sleeping. I feel like this is most definitely your energy. That's way too many. Whoa, whoa, way, way too many. Um... <clears throat> quite the hangover some of you guys got huh but whatever this is I mean it could be the moon that's just affecting you right now all right but we got the queen of wands reversed so to me this is queen of wands reversed is a straight up biatch no compassion I, I mean this is brutal energy You're stressed out over somebody. But I feel like for some of you, you're stressed because you lost your own passion. You lost yourself somewhere. So this can go either way. Um, but not, not taking action. So I feel like it's two different energies, okay? So it's like I feel like you, you, my cappies are stressed out with about some woman that you possibly left out in the cold with the five of pens here. At some point, you walked away and turned your back. We do have a strong same-sex on my board, same-sex relationship. Um, but regardless of that, you have someone on your mind <clears throat> you're not sleeping thinking about this person. You're not taking action, or this person's not taking action. It looks like you're coming out of feeling lonely if you're lonely. We might just have one lonely soul on my board right now. We got the emperor. So it's like you guys are in this Aries energy, but it's this Aries energy right now is really intense. It is really intense for you. It's it's mental. Um so to me you're thinking about this woman that you might have walked away from. Because at one point this is at one point it she was in your life. But then you walked away. So it's like you're in that energy of emperor energy. So it's, it's like stubborn, stubborn energy. You also, you're, you're dwelling. You look in the past, you're dwelling on something. Um, I put those opposite. That's weird. Let me look at them real quick like that. Yeah, you're dwelling about somebody you walked away from. Maybe it's because of children. Maybe they had children. And maybe you don't want to be a father if you're a, a male energy. Or maybe if you're same sex, you can't be a father. Well, you can, but not with that partner. Well, I mean, it's possible these days, but you know what I'm talking about. So, but if somebody in my caps walked away from, or vice versa. Maybe you're stressed out that somebody is no longer, 
gonna put effort in the jack shit. But to me, you guys are in that emperor energy. Who else was in that energy? Um, my cancers were in that energy too of something that was going on in the past. So we have strength. So, but this strength to me is is seductive. Like it's tempting. It's like you're restraining yourself. So this emperor is restraining themselves from even hitting up this feminine energy. And again, if you're same sex, someone's just playing alpha. Whoever's stressed out is playing alpha. But this is, and that's very tempting. The queen of wands would be very tempting. And if this is a one soul that's just lonely, this is you wanting to get that passion back. But you got to take that lead, you know. Or if you're same sex, you're considering, if you're a female, you're considering ex experimenting with a male. It could for some. But to me, this is my cappy's male energy right now. Whether you're female or not, you're in male energy, stressed out over a feminine who's very, very seductive. But you walked away from her. And now it's like needing strength to, to, to move forward. But at the same time, so it's the hermit reverse. So it's, it's coming out of reflection. So it, you're about to come out of isolation. So if you're my emperor and you've been isolating yourself from this person, you're about to, you're about to not isolate. You're about to try to ground a situation. But you're very attracted to this person. So again, I could look at it this way too. We might have a married man on the board and trying to turn their back from temptation like trying real hard because this person knows how to seduce and they've been with this person before they've shut this person down out of their life so it's like somebody a girl could have came back around the corner hit up a man that's already married and now I don't see them I don't know they could pursue because they're stressed out. It's hard for them. Their the sexual intensity here is, is strong. Even though they're not intimate right now, it's strong. And they've been sh shutting themselves out. But it's either that or they're not seeing something. But it's, it's not that. It's, they're about to come out of isolation. Tell me about the hermit. Because that's how I'm reading this card right here. <laughs> considering it's under the five of pence it's no longer this emperor energy my cappies are no longer isolating themselves from a situation okay but it's like at the same time with the ten of swords reversed what's going on with the ten of swords reversed um it, you're trying to process this because this person is linked to your future so Tell me about the emperor. Let's tell me about the emperor. Six of pence, yeah. Like I said, coming in, trying to ground a situation. Tell me about strength. But I also, I forget what read that was in too, where I'm reading that as external energy, as like a third party. There's something there, I'm telling you. But it could be passed, all right? But they want to ground a situation. And with strength, it's the four of cups. So it's like this four of cups is like the opportunity hasn't been presented yet. So it's like, again, this my cappies have not approached anybody. Well, you're waiting for somebody to approach you. But I'm looking at it like you're stressed out. Like you want to approach this feminine energy. Because the no one's handing her or him the opportunity yet. So it's either meant for you to... Think to yourself, you're not going to get this opportunity again. Or you, this is the energy you're in where you're like, you think it's a missed opportunity. But if you have enough strength and take yourself out of isolation and stop with the negative thoughts and, and, and go see what this is all about, you might be able to ground a situation. So you feel like you missed an opportunity. The opportunity is not going to be presented again. And it's stressing you out because 
you you want to ground the situation. You you do. But you 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 don't know how. You don't know how. And I got the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I, I think because the passion's gone. It's something. All right. So <clears throat> I need my cappies to stop stressing out. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull your best advice. But, it, you know, if you ask me, you know, if you're that stressed out about someone that you left, no matter what situation, you want to... You don't want to isolate yourself from this person anymore. So don't sit in this for too long. Best advice for my cappies. So it looks like you need to have a conversation with somebody because it's like you're, whole, you're restraining yourself. Don't make yourself sick. Don't stress yourself out. It's like you just feel like there's a missed opportunity. That's way too many. And I, I can't tell you if there is or there's not. But with the Ace of Wands being at the bottom of the deck, <clears throat> he has seeds, seeds, seven of earth. All right. So it's like, it's just your, it's your own pause in action. You're just worried. All right. You planted some type of seed here. Stop worrying. Stop worrying. I mean, that's the best advice I could give you too. All right, and and that's the advice that the spirit's giving you. I saw this three times as I was shuffling. It came out with that big pile, and it was happened to be at the bottom when I first initially shuffled, and then it just flipped in the deck. That's seven, seven, seven. It's not a coincidence. It's this person that you're stressed out about is meant to be on your path. See, <clears throat> it's like be adventurous, be outgoing, be confident. Be who you are. Push forward. And then under that, you got the three of earth. So I don't know if it's a, a spiritual contract or not, but it's basically saying just be a team player. All right. And that's the Knight of Cups. So I, I, I don't know. Your best advice to me is, is stop. Stop worrying. Stop procrastinating <clears throat> okay all right little lucky leprechauns all right and you got all those sevens see what i'm saying lucky number seven i'm telling you all right there, there's something here go after it all right i love you guys have a great day bye guys